Hi everyone, and welcome to our first episode of Steam Challenge Accepted Art Attack. So for this episode, we're gonna be doing two different projects. We're gonna be making marbled art. So you're just gonna need a dish uh, or a pan of some sort that'll hold everything in it, some shaving cream, uh, food coloring, paper, of course. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of cardboard, maybe just like a cereal box or something and uh, maybe a skewer, toothpick, something to kind of mix up your design. All right, so now we're gonna make our marbled paper. So I've got a baking dish here, um, just so that um, it doesn't go everywhere. You can use a plate or whatever you've got. And then I've got my shaving cream. Any kind of shaving cream will work. We just wanna make sure we get it everywhere. Make sure you have a good amount there. We need a little bit more here. There we go. Kind of get it everywhere. Good. So you can see that it's kind of expanding there um, to cover the whole thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my food coloring. You can also use uh, watercolors, uh, you can experiment with paint, whatever you've got at home. Because my food coloring doesn't have any uh, droppers, I'm going to use some measuring spoons just so I know that I don't put too much on at a time. As you can see I've got it here and this is the red, so I'm just going to put little spots of red throughout. I think I want a little bit more red than that. I'm going to keep going, just putting it wherever I think it works. And then I'm going to do some blue. So again, just going to use that measuring spoon. You kind of want to make sure that you've got blue, or color anyway, it doesn't have to be blue, I guess, but any color kind of covering most of the spots. I'm going to switch now to yellow. I'm just going to put dabs of yellow everywhere. There we go. As you can see there's kind of color everywhere. And then I'm going to take my skewer, you can use a toothpick or a fork even, and I'm just going to kind of mix up the design. Kind of make it more swirly, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper. Because my pan is smaller, I cut my paper down to size. I'm just going to lay it on top. I'm just going to lightly press to be sure that it's touching the shaving cream. So just lightly pat it and it's all good. You can probably try this with cardstock as well. It might work a little bit better, or maybe even construction paper. And then you can see that it's got all the shaving cream stuck to it and all the colors. So now what, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this out of my way this down here and we use a piece of cardboard now you can use any kind of cardboard you've got at home put this underneath it so we don't make a mess and then i'm just going to use this cardboard to scrape the shaving cream off you can see that i've scraped it off and all that i'm left with now is my design so you can go ahead and keep repeating that as many times as you want just get the design you'd like I hope you enjoy your marbled paper. I think I'm going to use mine to make a card for somebody. Our second project is going to be Lego pendulum art. So we're going to do some building with Lego. So you can use regular Lego bricks, or you can use the big Lego Duplo, or something similar. And we're going to make kind of a pendulum. 
we're going to use a string, disposable cup that we can poke a hole in the bottom, and some paint. We're going to make some cool art with that. So why don't I go ahead and show you what those will look like. All right, so here I built my Lego pendulum. And then what I did is I just made a bridge across and I put the string through here. For my cup, I was able to use a hole punch to put the holes in and tie the string to it. And then I just put a little bit of paint in there so you can see. I also put down a tablecloth just to protect everything. Now I've used a wooden skewer to puncture the bottom of the cup with the paint already in it. And then once I release it, the paint should start to come out. So I went ahead and pulled the skewer out of the cup. And as you can see, it's just making some drops. I've gone ahead and spun it a little bit to see if that would get it moving. But I think maybe my hole isn't quite big enough. So I'm gonna see if I can make a bigger hole. You can see the paint's coming out a little bit better now. So as uh, my cup goes spinning, it's making kind of a design. So depending on how big your tower is, how long your string is, would be what kind of design you get, as well as how big the hole is in your cup. So why don't you go ahead and give that a try at home and see what kind of cool art you can make. What did you guys think? Did you guys try it? It's pretty cool to make the Lego art where it would swing and go. And then I think I might use the marble paper for a card or something. Don't forget to check out next week when we will be doing our Steam Challenge Accepted is at Unsinkable Ships, where you get to try and make your own ship. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.